Okay, so let's, this is the didactic portion of the presentation. Let's just talk about neurogenesis. This is really part of the good news, and to really appreciate and remind yourself, if you have had chemo brain, that you can do this. You can get to point B. You can find your way back to yourself. That, that's, in my case, that was my, my worst nightmare, was that I was never going to be me again. I didn't know what me felt like anymore. And so um, this is very good news. Um, stem cells are created in an area of the brain called the hippocampus, with these little C-core structures on either side. And there are different things that actually stimulate the growth of those stem cells, but these are made into advanced age, up at least through age 74. So the use it or lose it really does apply here. And what causes the development of new stem cells is movement. So the more you move around, it's like your body, your body's telling itself, hey, I'm going to be around for a while. You better prepare. So um, you actually make these. It's called pluripotent. In other words, it has multiple potentials. These stem cells are like generic cells that based on whatever is needed in the body, it, it, it evolves into something. So then it evolves into what's called like a multi, multipotent. Its uses get then, based on interaction with the environment and what's happening in the brain or body, it becomes more multipotent versus pluripotent. It's a, considered a neural stem cell. And then again, it then evolves into an undifferentiated neuron. In other words, what is it going to be in the brain? So if it needs an actual neuron, I'll show you a diagram in a second. If you need a neuron, it becomes a neuron. If you need a glial cell, which is a fatty cell around a neuron, it becomes a glial cell. So this, is, this happens through the course of cell signaling, cells talking to each other. Hey, we need one of you. You get over there. It's really, that's how it works really in the brain, to put it very simply. 